touching her vagina. five minutes that I've been driving and okay so I'm not exactly happy with the situation um, so we tried my forearm there was no way of doing it it was painful the needle she tried in every which way to find some blood it wasn't happening so I don't think my door is fully closed so we basically pulled out the needle and started a new IV um, we got it right away in my hand which is fine but it hurt really bad. I felt it in my elbow. And not only that, which that's, you know, it is what it is. I could get over the pain, it, it goes away quickly. But she went the wrong way. She went in from my knuckles so that the, me oh, not the metal, but the plastic is sitting on my knuckles. And so that means that anytime I move my fingers, it's lifting which I don't want it to bust through, and I know that's rare, but it can happen. It's uncomfortable, I can see it, it makes me uncomfortable. Um, it, it just sucks, and so like, you can't see, but when I, when I stop, I'm gonna show you guys, it's really bad. If she had went from my wrist in, it would have been a flatter base, but now everything is in my hand. She even had to wrap tape around my fingers because like my bandage goes into my fingers. So it's just not a good situation. I drive a stick shift, so I'm having to do all of this and I can't hold, I can't make a, you know, I can't hold it very well. I have to pretty much just use like my fingertips to move it. And then when I want to use my chair, I'm not going to be able to use my chair um i can't put my gloves on and i don't know why i feel like i'm going the wrong way crap nurse is like so do you mind if she does an exam and I'm like I would assume that she's going to require an exam since I'm here about my private parts so but um, I'm like you can but I'm quite yeah I, it's gonna be rough to having a pelvic exam like I'm ready my heart's racing right now so We'll see. I know that most doctors don't give you a sedative, don't give you anything to calm you down, but I've had it once and I don't remember if it was in the hospital and that's why they did it. I don't know, we'll see. I absolutely hate this thing. All right, it's time to urinate. <laughs> well, this is always fun. Okay. You thirsty? How cool is this? This is just gorgeous. The weird thing is, in the photo or the video, it looks like a like a true blue, but it's actually kind of like a teal color. For some reason, it's just not showing up that way. But nonetheless, this is beautiful. So I pulled over on the side of the road. Um, my door is open and everything and so here's the story um, I'm actually gonna put you guys up on my dashboard give me a moment they called back pretty much as soon as I got back home so it was a very quick drive which means a quick results and the nurse said that urine the swab test the whole thing everything was clear I don't have a UTI I don't have any sort of infection or yeast or anything whatsoever I am completely clear so 
the the doctor did say she goes if anything is if everything is clear we can do a pelvic not a pelvic a uh well yeah a pelvic ultrasound and go from there to see if anything has grown if you have cysts elsewhere in your stomach or anything she goes um but let's start with the you know your tests and if they're clear she goes i'm hoping that they are not clear and it's something simple like an infection because if it's not she doesn't know what it could be especially after hysterectomy um 10 years ago and there's no cause for bleeding it seemed like she's gonna be more worried if the results come back clear and they did so the next step is tomorrow i go in at 7 a.m to do a pelvic you know exam a pelvic um uh not exam pelvic uh ultrasound tomorrow 7 a.m or 4 p.m and i chose 7 p.m did i say p.m a.m wow how do you do wow this really hurts wow so um 7 a.m i have to be there it starts at 7 7 15 and it's this whole thing and so my question was to her really wasn't like, oh my gosh, so what could the results be? It's what if these results are still normal? What the hell is wrong with me? The bleeding is not really bleeding. I might be seeing this pinkish area. I'm saying it now. I might be seeing it. I don't know. Just today's when I was like, oh no, I'm not seeing this. It's there. But I mean, it's like fair pink. It's the pain. The pain is there. It's, it's F. It's like as if I like if I was raped, that's what it would feel like down there. That's the feeling I'm getting down there. It's 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 slightly external but more internal. And it happens, you know, during the morning. It happens while I pee, which is even worse because I have a crooked something down there. And when I pee, it doesn't just drop, it kind of gets all over everywhere. And so basically I'm like, so she goes, if everything is still clear and if you are still uncomfortable with the decision of waiting it out and seeing if it clears up I will suggest you seeing a neuro OBGYN and maybe even going further with like a physical therapist so I'm assuming like what you see in the TV shows where they're like I'm doing therapy right now and I'm clenching my vagina and I'm clenching my vagina and clenching my vagina and clenching my vagina yeah so she was really nice she was really sweet and she said that uh if the results come back positive for tomorrow she's thinking it either will be polyps which there is no real like treatment you just it's basically like tagged you can your skin but down there internal um and you just take medications and kind of just strings them that's all or um thinning of your lining forgot what it's called and most likely we'll bring it up later on today um but thinning of the lining she goes you are on estrogen even though i'm kind of off on it because i can't keep on it because uh, it you be on eight medications a day you know um if you're on it it shouldn't happen if you're not it could happen and since i'm technically not really consistent with it so yeah well what would you think so i am making vegan oh <laughs> so vegan hamburger helper i want to say macaroni and cheese because technically it's macaroni and cheese with a little bit of well, a little bit different kinds of seasonings to make it hamburger helper like so i can't i can't wait i'm in so much pain right now um i just tried to hold a knife and make a spread like that vegan cheese spread on a cracker and become using so much fingers and so much force I scream and I'm, I'm done
but my line will not flush. It won't even fucking flush. So there goes that. I'm taking this fucking bitch out. <sighs> okay, if you look, you can't probably see it, but my vein is massive like it's probably the biggest you can't see it i know you can't biggest i've ever seen i feel like there's a huge ass pimple under my skin i knew something was wrong nor does my vein ever bleed like this ever something is up and there's blood all over my carpet here So here are all dip my different seasonings. Some of them you don't even see, like pepper that's here. socks from Dollar Tree oh my god look at that like they're actually oh there's my foot they're actually high socks they're men's too but look at all the color oh, I love them anyway so um I've been doing a, a lot of research on vagina atrophy which is what I was looking for the word I was looking for when it means like thinning of like your, your uh, vaginal lining um so <coughs> uh yeah so atrophy just i don't know trying to calm myself down which it does but then it also makes me like worried about maybe it's something bad <laughs> anyway um yeah I'm just gonna relax for the rest of the day, watch some Lore and Order Spec Lore and Ordered Order Spectral <laughs> I can't even speak. Special Victims Unit, SVU. Um on the big screen which is right in front of me. And uh relax with my animals and just take care of myself and then tomorrow at seven AM or so I have to be at my appointment. That'll be no fun, but I may run to Walmart tonight and get a go some of those like ice pops. It makes me feel safe and warm, which is funny because well, they're cold. Um, I just feel really safe with them. I feel like a child. I feel like I have family watching over me type of thing. So I might go get some of those if I have the energy. So with that. I will see you guys for sure tomorrow so that you guys can be part of the ultrasound. I'm going to ask if I can record it. If not, I may record it somehow. Anyway, but 
I will see you guys next time and